question. Thank you very much. to the mystery spot before, let me fill you in on a little history of the mystery. So it all started with a, na a man named George Prather, who in 1939 decided to build a summer home for him and his family. And he wanted to do this on that flat strip of land over there that is now our beautiful parking lot. Now, the lumber company who owned this land was only willing to sell it to him on one condition. Mr. Prather had to buy the entire hillside as well, so he said sure, and he bought the property. But as he was signing the papers, he mentioned wanting to build a cabin on that hillside. And in response, the lumber company told him that all efforts they had made to build anything on that hillside had failed. Anything built would just slide right back down the hill as if it was being pushed by some weird force. Now, Mr. Prather thought this was rather peculiar, or should I say, mysterious. So he sent some surveyors up the hill in order to check things out. And immediately they began to notice some unusual occurrences. First off, they found that it was twice as hard to get up that hill as it should have been. And from your faces, I can tell you guys are really excited about that, right? Yeah! No, so the next thing that they noticed was that the compasses were giving incorrect readings, with differences varying from 1 to 180 degrees. Now this would make south north and make north south, yes. And the last thing that they noticed was that these strange occurrences were happening in a circle with a diameter of 150 feet. Now the circle has distinct borders, and they run between these two cement blocks in front of me, and between these two redwood trees behind me. Now, as you can see, this tree here is in the mystery spot, and it's leaning a little bit, right? And this one outside the mystery spot, it's growing straight. And this one in the middle, it's a little confused, right? It's straight, goes back out, comes back in. It's a little confused, much like myself, which is probably why I work here. This platform is level. But maybe you guys don't believe me. In that case, you guys can believe this level right here. Does anybody know how a level works? Look at each other here. So she's a little shorter here. Her eye line is about to his chin, I would say. And now if you guys switch places. Look at that. You guys are about the same height right now. See, your eye line is almost at his eye line. So I'm sorry, you just shrunk. <laughs> it should come back in a couple of years. And actually, there's a gallon of milk in the gift shop. If you drink the whole thing, you'll probably get your kidneys. You hear about this. In fact, I would say that a lot of you look a little bored right now, right? Yeah. So when I take this very unspectacular board and I place it here. Who can tell me? By a show of hands, who thinks that this side is higher up? Anybody? The board here in the corner. The corner, Michael. Yeah, a lot of you. And who thinks that this side is higher up? This bottom side. A couple of you. Does anybody think that this board is level? Yeah, one of, a couple of you, right? So when I place my level here, you guys can see. But that bubble is actually in the middle right now, which means that this board is in fact level. So that should mean that when I place this ball right here, the ball should stay, but look, it rolls out. So some of you might be thinking that maybe this board right here, maybe it's rigged. I don't know what that was. Anyways. <laughs> So, maybe you think that this is tapered, <laughs> exactly. So maybe you think that this board is tapered, right? That one side is uh, wider than the other so that the board is pushed out. But even when I flip it around, you're gonna see the exact same thing. When I push the ball in, it's gonna roll back out. Whoa, look at that. So some of you might be thinking that it's this ball, right? Maybe there's a motor in it. Maybe there's a magnet. Maybe there's a hoop 
But I can tell you that that's not the case. If I have something from the audience, I can show you this. Maybe some chapstick, lipstick. You're gonna see it starts rolling out. So again, I'm gonna push it further. It's not perfectly round, but you can see, look, it's rolling out. It's pretty weird. It's like a ladder, but it actually works a lot more like a staircase. So you inch, thank you. <laughs> so as you can see, I can walk up like so, right? So this is actually a great spot to take photos, like Spider-Man, right? So once I'm done, you guys can do that as well. <laughs> So we have about six minutes, and then we're going to head out there. So before that, you guys can play around, reenact Titanic, whatever you want. Again, we have six minutes, and then we're going to head out there. So go ahead. <laughs> But unlike many things that I've shown you on this tour, this bench actually isn't level. So can anybody tell me where that bubble is at? It's a little, it's, can you read it? Can you see where it is? Yeah, it's just a little bit this way, right? And I'm going to show you on this side as well. <laughs> you guys over here, tell me where that bubble is at. Yeah, it's, it's just a little bit this way, right? Not by much. Not by too much. But anyways, this would mean that this is uphill and that's downhill. And I can show you that. When I place this ball here, that ball is going to start moving downhill. Not that crazy. But there is something pretty interesting. When I walk this way, it looks like I'm getting shorter, right? And when I walk this way, do you guys see that it looks like I'm getting taller, right? Which is pretty weird because this is uphill right now. So some of you might be thinking that maybe this is an optical illusion caused by this roof line behind me. That maybe because when my head is below it, it'll look like I'm getting shorter. And when I'm going this way, my head's above it, so it looks like I'm getting taller. But I can show you that that's not the case. If, is anybody in the crowd 6'2"? Six 6'2", two? Six two. anybody? Are you 6'2"? Are you Will you stand right here for me? Okay, is anybody here six feet tall? Six feet, will you stand right there for me, please? Okay, is anybody five eight? Five eight, will you stand right there? Five six. Five six, anybody? Five six, five five. Anybody five five? Five. Five, yeah, okay, yeah, do you want to stand there? And is anybody five two? Five two, five three, five two? I'm sure somebody is. I'm five three. Yeah, do you want to stand at the end for me? I think this should work. Okay, so as we can see, everybody's in AT&T's next commercial, right? <laughs> Raising the bar. But can 
everybody on the bench please look to the person to your right? Now that person's shorter than you, right? And if everybody could look at the person to your left, now that person is taller than you. And this proves something. It proves that the people on this bench are seeing exactly what we're seeing, but they can't see that roof line, right? So now I'm gonna have you at the end, and you at the end switch places, and then you, sir, and you, you guys can switch places, and then you in the middle of you can just there. I think, yeah, I, that does work, yeah. <laughs> so you guys, now you can see that everybody's about the same height right now, right? Which is really weird, because that's uphill. That's downhill, right? So now can I have you at the end and you at the end switch places one more time. Everybody else stay in the same spot just to show you that difference. Look at that. This shouldn't happen here, right? Because that's uphill and that's downhill. That's really weird. So look, he just regained his height, right? So I'm going to pick you, sir. Come stand right here. And can I actually have a nurse? You do want to be picked. And I actually need one more person in the crowd. This is somebody in the crowd who looks honest and responsible. So I'm going to pick you. Can you stand right here for me? So just tell me, who here is taller? Yeah, he's taller. So when I place my hand like this, can you tell me when it's at the top of his head? Down? About there? Okay, now can I have you two switch places? I'm just gonna freeze this right here. So again, she did go to the shorter side. But, now can you tell me again when this is at the top of his head? Now? So you guys, this difference right here should only be an inch. It's a lot more, right? So that means that you just got taller. If you keep coming here, we can probably get you into the NBA. <laughs> and you, I'm so sorry, you just shrunk. Pretty soon you can fit in this box behind you, okay? So you guys, round of applause for these volunteers. You guys are great. In case you might talk about these trees. Thank you.